everybody. <laughs> so I know you know what it's what's October twenty fourth. Wow, time flies. Anyway, get your pen and your paper, your coffee, soda, drink, whatever you drink. We're going to get into these volunteer camp working jobs. See you in a minute. Have you ever woke up and wondered what was wrong with you? You knew you wanted to be elsewhere, that there was more to life than the life you were living, more than the bills you were paying, the job you were keeping. Look to the horizon, to the sunsets. Your answer is there. Put your feet on the ground and take a deep breath and step into the nomadic lifestyle. You will not regret it. How is everybody? I know, caught me looking down. <laughs> That's why I don't edit. Yeah, I don't edit. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to find them, guys. Yeah, I keep every one of my jobs. Everyone. So, I know, right? Today is the 22nd. Yeah, I know. Amazing, ain't it? Yeah, I know. Sorry. I had three sets written in here. I don't guess I do. So we'll go back up here. This one. It's been quite the, the quite the week. <laughs> okay. So how's everybody today? I know, right? Sorry, I had to look down at my page. Uh, yeah. Trolls pissed me off last week. What's new? So, because we have trolls that doesn't understand the difference between a volunteer position and a paid position, I am here to let you know that everything that I refer to in this video is a volunteer position, regardless if I use the words work camper or camp worker <laughs> or the word job. <laughs> Anyhow, these are volunteer jobs. Like working at a food bank, at the animal shelter. Most folks are easy to understand that. The trolls don't get it. But anyway, so let's get into our list today. You know, guys, I have to say that, uh, <laughs> Makes me wonder. Okay. I know I did that one. So. I just did that one. So I have to go this way. Okay. So, I know, right? I'm, t I'm telling you, I'm having a day. I should have gotten more organized. Okay. So, today's first job is out of Migdo, Georgia. Um, this volunteer position. Um, it's for a couple or a single. It's for right now. It's for camp host. Uh, some of the duties will include housekeeping, maintenance, groundkeeping, general labor. Uh, it's 16 hours a week. Um, there are 165 campsites there, you guys. This sounds like a really good, good cool place. But it, right now, it's ready right now. You're going to get your full hookup. And uh, you will be paid by the hour for anything over 16 hours. But the job itself is a volunteer job. You'll have to speak with the owners to find out how much you get an hour. And they may make it just volunteer. If that little troll comes back, <laughs> bless their heart. Oh, poor little trolls. Mm -hmm. I know, right? Girl's off today. Oops. My vitamin D. <laughs> okay. This is out of Boring, Texas. It's called Top of the Hill um, RV Resort. It's for a couple or a single. This volunteer job is for winter 2018 through 2019. It's for some of your um, some of your tasks will include groundkeeping, plumbing, and light electrical. It's three eight-hour shifts for singles, two six-hour shifts for couples, a total of 24 hours a week. They ask. For this on this volunteer job they are asking for you to commit which a lot of volunteers jobs do um, they're asking you to commit 
uh, for through March 2019 and if longer if needed. Um, information will be listed down below. Uh, what you're going to get is a full hookup. They get 30. They have 30, 50 amps, guys. Uh, you'll be uh, compensated $10 a week for laundry. You'll get free Wi-Fi. Information is down below under number two. With that being said, volunteer jobs are one of the best ways that older people, snowbirds, and even single females and or males, to be able to live in a safe place, volunteer a few hours of their time, and, and in return get a nice place to live, a great place to live. So anybody out there who's trying to take away this information from people who are just trying to better themselves, suck. <laughs> just say it. I had to say that. Anyway, job number three, volunteer. Are look, um, they're looking for a couple single volunteers. Uh, this is for March 1st, 2019 through October 31st, 2019. They have RV sites, tent sites, and two cabins. Um, this is um, uh, one of you is for a couple. They prefer a couple. They said one of you will be doing outside work and one of you will be doing inside work. This volunteer job uh, for the hours that they ask you to volunteer your time, you'll get a full hookup, Wi-Fi, propane, a Polaris four-wheeler, guys, while you're on duty, and you will get a laundry allowance. Information will be listed down below. That sounds like a cool job to me. Just saying. Okay, number four is at a court site, Arizona. Yeah, right. Good old Bob might be there. I get to see Bob. Um, this is Front Screen RV. Uh, this volunteer job is looking for a host couple uh, from now through April 1st, 2019. They want you to have great customer service above everything. Above everything. Um, this, for the couple, the female will be inside, male will be outside. For a pair, same, one inside, one outside. Uh, for this volunteer time job, You'll get a full hookup, seventy-five dollars towards your electric, and a bonus if you stay the whole season. So this is a really good volunteer, guys. Um, it'll be listed down below. Okay, number five volunteer job. Volunteer. <laughs> it's for the trolls out there that can't tell the difference between a volunteer and a paid job. You guys even threatened her. Threatened her with Social Security and the federal income tax. Amazing. Okay, number five is Milo, Michigan. It's from Milo Pines Acre RV Resort. This volunteer job is for a housekeeper and a ma uh, inside maintenance outside. It's for a couple. Uh, they want you to start Memorial Day. Please have references. There are pet restrictions here, guys, so you need to send in pictures of you, your RV, and your pets with your resume. You do get a full hookup for the time you volunteer. Next. Number six. This is out of Baldwin, Michigan. It's for a couple. This volunteer position lasts from May 15, 2019 through September 15, 2019. Um... For your time, you'll be compensated a full hookup, Wi-Fi cable, and laundry allowance. This volunteer position um, needs to be applied for now. It has a video for you to watch the video information listed down below. Good luck on that one, you guys. That would be a nice place to be in the summer. Okay, number seven. This volunteer position is out of Cornersville, Tennessee. And it's called Texas Tea Campground, right? That's why I was a little confused. I uh, know, right? This volunteer position is for camp host. They're looking for singles or couples. Um, housekeeping, maintenance, office help, groundkeeper, rental, general labor. This volunteer um, position starts February 2019. They're asking for a four-month commitment. Uh, it's for 24 hours a week. For volunteering 24 hours a week, you get a full hookup, Wi-Fi, electric, laundry allowance, cable TV, and propane. I know, right? Sounds like a killer job. Information listed down below. 
Okay, the last one for this week, guys. Um, this is out of G uh, Gills Gillsville, Georgia. It's Grover River Ranch. Uh, this is for this position, volunteer position. It's for a single or a couple. It's for all year round. They're looking for campground host. Uh, that would be maintenance groundkeeper in general. They have two openings. Uh, must be in good physical condition. Must pack, pass background check. Um, you will get a campsite and other for your volunteer time. Uh, there are only five sites there, you guys. So this is going to be a really laid back job. Information will be listed below. Um, they do want you to send a picture of yourself, your rigs, and your pets. You know, guys, when we get into volunteer work, they have a right to tell us if they, if, if we have an aggressive dog that we can't bring that dog, um, especially the farms. We've had a lot of farms in the last few months that are listing for positions. One of the farmers told me that one of their volunteers had a dog that actually attacked and killed some of their farm animals. So if you guys have a dog that you that, that could be aggressive toward other animals, and I'm not talking just dogs and cats, I'm talking chickens and hens and, and ducks, <laughs> you know, pigs, um, lambs and goats. Um, yeah, it's better not that you volunteer maybe for one of those jobs, maybe go for a corporate job in the way of volunteering. So anyway, I wish you all good luck on these volunteer positions, and I will see you next week. Don't forget to love yourself, because if you don't love you, ain't nobody else.